in class. So it's this term we have English, I have English, is what I'll be teaching 145 and 133. And then I will have a business class, business communication, and then I will have two college studies. So if you are new to uh, me, to have me as a, as a teacher, I teach very differently, very creative, so be ready. And then uh, for those, uh, those of you who are new to the school, um, you know, my newbies is what I call it. I um, am going to tell you that it takes longer to decide to come to school than to finish it. So congratulations that you're here, all right? So very much looking forward to this very exciting term, um, you know, and a very exciting time in our life, right? With uh, the new president-elect, and then of course the new vice president-elect, which is uh, very uh, culturally diverse, and of course, different gender. And so it is a great time. Uh, you know, in our nation for the glass ceiling for women and it is to everyone's benefit, both men and women, that we have achieved this major milestone, right? Because we all have mothers and we all have sisters or some of us and, um, you know, spouses, right, that are female, um, you know, daughters. And so it's an amazing time that we have finally, finally um, you know, broken the glass ceiling in that sense. You know, there's all all uh, over the world that we have great leaders that are women. And so, um, so it took us a while, right? And this is all a culmination of everybody striving and coming together to really achieve, you know, this, uh, you know, this very heavy duty milestone. So uh, whether, whatever it is that you believe in, whatever it is that your background is in terms of, um, you know, politics and parties, right? So it is a time to come together and it is a time to heal whatever it is that we have gone through as a nation. And it is only uh, through being true Americans, which means that truly coming together and working collectively and united that we will be strong like we like we were before. Um, you know, so very exciting times. So we'll see, we'll see what, you know, that entails, but very exciting times. And then I read in um, the newspaper today, uh, or the articles that I read on, uh, you know, phone or whatever that um, I think that fits her. I think, you know, because I'm not, I'm not health, right? You guys are in health, but I basically teach general education. So English is in businesses and I'm in business. And so um, very interesting. I think they have a vaccine that's 90% 90, 90 um, accurate or, you know, or good, or I don't know what you call it, proficient or something. So very, very exciting times. There might be a possibility that we might get a vaccine full, right? The first initial vaccine that came out, I think there was major um, side effects, but you know, I didn't read thoroughly in this one, but it looks like 90% accuracy, so that's amazing. So really possibly going into 2021, you know, very vibrant and, um, you know, very hopeful, all right? So uh, with that, if you've had me for class, uh, please be patient. You're gonna hear a lot of the stories, but also you're gonna hear um, you know, sort of the same thing. So I'm starting with my introduction for those of you who have not had me. Okay, so I am Miss Servine, and um, and if you if you're watching me, that means that you understood the YouTube uh, connection, and I will explain that thoroughly. Sit down. I recommend I recommend that for my videos, you take notes. Um, there's a lot of people that have missed some information and it's all in the video. So make sure that you take notes because it's sort of like a lecture, okay? I will be lecturing twice a week and that will be your daily attendance. Um, I guess I'll take, I'll get into that before I get into my, uh, my background. So, um, you have to log on to YouTube, which is not connected to SU. And so you will be viewing, um, videos like this, um, you know, and I will be doing daily attendance Mondays and Tuesdays. You have up until Wednesday to get them in. I do not take late work. Um, so please don't ask. There was some, um, exceptions last term that the school decided um, to take, but that was not our doing. And uh, don't count on it for this term if you're counting on that, okay? So late, I give you enough time to get everything in, okay? So no late work is will be accepted. So you have daily attendance for Monday and Tuesday, and you have up until Wednesday to upload it. So what you do is you watch me, and then you either can watch me on your phone or your iPad. If you if you're, it's your first term, you do not have an iPad. If you have, um, if you're into your second term, you're going to have an iPad. So what's going to happen is that you um, screenshot, you know 
know when you're looking at me, I don't want to show you my, my screens, but when you, um, when you're watching me and viewing me, you, uh, take a picture of that with your comment. Cause you're going to have to comment on YouTube and say here, or there's going to be, um, classroom discussions and, um, uh, dashboard, um, uh, board discussions, I can't think how they're called. And so you're gonna, the, about questions that I um, give out or opinions that you're gonna have to uh, comment on and that uh, doubles and that takes this, uh, we meet the objective uh, for um, classroom discussion and uh, dashboard discussion or something like that it's called, I think it's called DB, okay? And so we kill, uh, you know, uh, two birds with one stone, right? I think that's the same. So you, when you're watching me, you comment and then you take a picture of me, right? You have to show me who I am because sometimes people upload whatever uh, video that they want and that's not what the deal is, okay? So you, um, you basically um, take a picture of the video that, I, um, that you are watching and you're supposed to watch that day and then, excuse me, and you get settled in. And um, and so you take a picture and you take a screenshot, okay? And with your comment, and then you go to SU and under week one, I will always um, have it under week one, I believe, all the daily attendances, okay? I will have a link there that says daily attendance, um, November 9th, 2020, Miss Servine upload here. This video will be called introductory video for Miss Servine, okay? Tomorrow's daily attendance will be daily attendance, November 10th, 2020, Miss Servine upload here. So you upload your screenshot onto that link on SU, okay? And that's what's going to be your daily attendance. Daily attendance is, um, is, um, I believe, uh, 40% of your grade, okay? So with me, it's going to be very interesting, okay? So as I tell everybody, if you got me, it's because you're ready to hear the message and you'll figure what that, what that is. But also, um, if you do not get 100 with me, you really need to revisit your life because I am, you know, it's very easy to get 100, 100 with me. I recommend that you put in all effort. That's all you really need. You just need to show up for my class and put the effort because down the line for maybe another class that you might get that's really hard, my 100 will help you leverage and balance that out and average it out. So if you get a C in another class with my 100, you can bring up your GPA to a, to a B. So um, that's in part why I structure my classes the way I do. So learning activities is 40. Um, and then you have, uh, you have, uh, assignments that I will be assigning probably on Monday. Okay. Today I will not be doing assignments, but I will be doing assignments tomorrow because I'm getting everybody to get settled in. So, um, so you have, um, assignments and then you have, uh, that are worth 30% and then you have exams that, that will be worth, um, 30% as well. Okay. So your exams will be two. It will be midterm and final. I think we're in a five week, um, you know, uh, term, I believe. Okay. I think they switched it over and they changed it, which I'm sort of glad, but it's going to mean that it's going to go really, really quick. My finals and my midterms are done a week before the actual time, just because I have over 200 students. Um, and we need to make sure that the grades are in and that you get all your grades and there's no way that logistically I can get that done in the time frame of uh, the week that they give us for, for the midterms and the finals. The other thing about that is that I give you midterms and finals so that way, uh, a week before, so that way with my class, you're done with the midterms and finals and then you have extra time or, or other time where you don't have to put in the time that you're putting in for my class to the other class classes that you really need to study for or you really need to put in more effort in. And that doesn't mean that my class is not uh, valuable and it's not worth the effort. It just means that I rather, since I do general ed, right, and nobody likes English and a lot of people say, oh, business, although I, I, I uh, really teach a very dynamic business class. And then JC is just wonderful, right, because it's exactly what I do. I do like meditation and, you know, uh, mind, spirit and body. And, you know, and I am all, all my life has been about empowerment. And so this, this YouTube uh, channel was initially um, suggested by my prior students. They wanted me to put a podcast on because of my lectures, they were very inspired by the lectures and it was an empowerment. Um, so um, I couldn't do that because I couldn't figure that out. So I put a YouTube video, I put a YouTube uh, channel on. So uh, my, my classes and my life has been about 
you know, allowing you and helping you to be the best that you can be. Okay. So, um, so since I'm general ed and, um, it's not really what you really want to study, I know that most people just sort of like are dragging, you know, uh, are dreading my classes because of the subjects, not because of me, right. But if we get through it and it'll be fun and it'll be, you know, as least complicated as possible, which is what my intention is while we, you know, get all the curriculum and everything that I need to teach you. then so be it. Cause that way it can free up your time for um, your other classes that you will you know that you need extra time for so um, so that's why I structure the classes the way I structure so sometimes you just need to show up and of course your middle your your midterm and your finals will be given a week before so we will be having midterms next week especially with the week that has been cut off um, so I will be advising you probably tomorrow and then on Monday I will be um, really assigning what your what your midterm is for that week for the week of the second week okay so we will be having some assignments um, tomorrow and then I'll tell you when that's due um, and then next week I will be assigning midterms okay so newbies don't get scared you know I'm very um, you can reach me if you have any questions. I'm very open to answering them, but if it's all, you know, if it's everything is laid out there, I'm going to tell you to reference back the video or reference back the initial bio that I have. And in my bio, it's the class, uh, the way the class is, is structured. Okay. So you can uh, contact me through uh, Teams, through um, the bubble, which is Messenger, through SU or email. Okay. I do really good with email and Teams. On Teams, I do not have your um, classes set up yet. I will be working on that today and tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get it in. That means that I need to input manually about 300 students based on all my classes. Um, so be, please be patient. I'm hoping to do that. So, but once I get that done, um, you can contact me or you can contact me through Teams as well. Even if you don't have, even if I don't have you in my groups and in my Teams set up yet. Um, so make sure that you have, you download your Teams app. If you have not downloaded your Teams, Teams app from Microsoft, then please do so. So I have my Teams app. Let me see if I can show you, um, you know, what it looks like. It's right here, this one. Okay. And as you can tell, I have all sorts of apps here. Let me see. I don't want to erase those. Um, I have an E-Trade app. I have a Word app. And then, of course, I have the New York Times, which I love to read. And then um, I, have, uh, I have other apps here. I went to Spain, so all sorts of apps. So this is very important to download your apps. Mostly some of them are, you know, free. I think the Teams app, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, so make sure that you download that. And of course, if you have your iPad, you can download it through that. Okay. So very, uh, very interesting. And then we'll talk about apps and we'll talk about different resources and skills that you need for that. Okay. So, um, so I think that that's that for, uh, daily attendance midterms, um, with your assignments, you will be given assignments. And what you usually do is either, uh, if it's a Word document, then you upload the Word document on the link that I give you for SU on your assignments. And your assignments will basically have a title on it, like chapter one and chapter two. And I will be verbally giving you all the instructions. All the instructions are through YouTube. All the instructions are verbal, okay? So if you see something on my dashboard that doesn't make any sense, that is kind of wrong with the dates or whatever, that means I screwed up or I didn't clean it up. Um, so do not do it unless I tell you verbally through S, through uh, YouTube that what it is that you need to do. So do not do anything unless I tell you verbally to do so. And all instruction will be done through YouTube. If you do not log on to my YouTube channel, you will not pass. And every, this is my lectures. Okay. This is, would be like what it is to be in class. So I know that there's a lot of uh, people that have not liked online courses. It is what it is. Um, you know, I do a whole lecture on Darwin's theory and Darwin's theory was not really about Christianity or this or, or the monkeys or whatever. It really was about adapting to your environment and creating and developing the skills, both, uh, you know, in terms of skills, but also physically in order to be able to survive. And so given the, uh, you know, given our life right now with COVID and all that, this is what we have. And, and thank God we have this, right? Because our technology has really grown. If we didn't have, you know, iPads and you, we didn't have YouTubes, then it would be impossibly, probably impossible to be able to do schoolwork. Okay. Uh, if we didn't have internet, you know, internet isn't that, um, you know, hasn't been a long, hasn't been here for a long time. It has now, but I mean, you know, when you guys were 
born, or maybe I guess if you're 20s, but if you're millennials, um, I would say that at the initial of the millennial stage and era is when, you know, uh, internet started coming along. So be grateful, right? Be grateful that there's other alternatives and be grateful that we can have class through this and that you can see me, even though I can't see you, but we will in Teams meetings. So we will be having Teams meetings once a week. Um, I know that some of you work and great for you if you work. So hang on to those jobs because we're, um, you know, the longer it takes for the pandemic to get uh, under, you know, uh, controlled, the the more um, uh, economically stressed we will be, right? There's, a, a, you know, a lot of evictions that are gonna start and all that. So we'll talk about that further, okay? So, um, so I lost my train of thought. So make sure that if you work, you're grateful and make sure that you really try to sustain that job because we're heading to trying times until the vaccine gets out. So for those of you who work, I know that if you can't attend, that's fine. Just make sure that you let me know through either Teams or um, email is really the fastest way. The bubble, I take a little bit hard, a longer time because I have to log into my SU and I can only log into my SU through my laptop because it's very cumbersome to do it through my iPad and my iPhone because of the way the structure is. So I can't see everything completely. I can't see the windows completely. So it's hard for me. It's harder for me to navigate through it. So I prefer to do uh, bubbles when I'm on my laptop uh, which means that I log on once a, once a day, okay? Um, and uh, if I have not answered your, um, your bubble or your message or your email, um, that means that I probably answered it through either the lecture of the day or the previous lectures, or it's written in the bio and the class instructions and platform. So make sure that you review that if I have not answered back, okay? Cause that means you just have to reference back, okay? So be patient with that. Um, you know, my class is pretty chill. Um, so, you know, calm down. I'm pretty open to a lot of things. If you do sort of, you know, um, lead me on and sort of not get your end of your work done and wait till the end, or you know, try to you know invent some stuff. Then I'm not going to take that lightly. Um, I'm like your mother, right? Teachers are so I can sort of figure out uh, you know if it's true or not. I will give you the benefit of the doubt. But if there's a consistency, right? You forget to upload or this. Although I'm not taking you know late work, but let's just say you had a major emergency and you didn't upload. If you have major emergencies, you know of course communication is key. Let me know. I'm very flexible and I will probably uh, give you an alternative, um, you know, to be able to uh, compensate for the grade or to be able to upload it. Uh, but if you have one emergency or you forgot and then you have another one, I'm not gonna believe you and I'm only gonna probably give you one break, okay? So don't abuse that, all right? So um, I think that does it with the platforms and, um, and school, um, you know, I think that does it, okay? If I miss anything, I will make sure that I, um, oh, for the team. So let me just finish on the team. So just make sure that you let me know. And, um, and you know, if you can attend the means, I highly encourage you to attend them. Part of the part of what you pay for is your professor's expertise. And so, you know, I'm available for you to ask anything, anytime, okay? If you need tutoring, let me know. Um, you really don't need tutoring in my class, but if you need tutoring, let me know. So any type of questions that you have, especially with business is really where I've had a lot of questions, right? Or meditation, I'm also very much into meditation. So I um, do meditation sessions after our meeting. So if you're up for it, I can teach you how to meditate. Meditation works tremendously for uh, focusing, uh, for quieting the mind, uh, for just be, being able to uh, be in tune with yourself, which is very important, especially in these trying times. And it also helps with calming you in general and understanding your feelings and your emotions and your being. So I highly encourage you to learn how to meditate. I offer that. Um, so um, with the meetings, if you can't attend, then the meeting automatically uploads to um, to Microsoft and um, and then you can watch it there. For whatever reason, it didn't upload correctly last time. It sort of got corroded. I don't know why. It has nothing to do with us. So we'll see. All right. Uh, for English 133, you have a hard copy book. Go get it. 
the SU is notorious for um, running out, so make sure that you get it in uh, because they run out, and if you don't have the book, you're going to fall tremendously behind, okay? English 145, BC, and junior college, uh, college studies all have uh, icons, and they have links, so all you have to do is just press on the book. Uh, icon, you know, click on it, not press on it, and then it'll take you to the book. Make sure that you learn how to navigate through the book so that way you can figure out, you know, what to read and where to read read it and how to do it. English 145, um, so that's it. English 145, we, had, we used to use another uh, program that just sort of didn't work, so we just went back to the electronic books. So make sure that you navigate through your books. Um, you can't screw up anything and you can't break anything. So make sure that you just go through it and through it and through it. Um, if you can't upload anything or something doesn't, you know, doesn't work, then you need to call IT, but make sure that everything is in the process and then you try everything else, okay? Um, when something doesn't work, just let me know, right? And make sure that you take copies. I've had, um, you know, midterms and finals where, you know, the students is like, miss, look, I uh, tried to upload, but for whatever reason, uh, it didn't upload, but here's my screenshot, you know, please, please, please. And so if it's that, that's the case and they have everything ready and you missed it, you know, but you have everything ready and you had complications that were technical techno, techno, technologically then that's gonna you know I would I would uh, consider it more if you if you just haven't done anything right then that's a whole different issue so I think that that concludes the uh, portion of education and school now a little bit about myself or a lot about myself right I have a master's in education I have a BA in journalism PR um, you know um, what else? Um, I am a retired high school principal. I was in the independent school districts for Gadsden for my whole tenure, which is about 18 years. Uh, at the beginning of my um, of my career, I uh, worked for a Catholic schools for about a year or two, I think a year. Um, so extensive, extensive research um, and uh, experience in, um, I was a, a high school principal in Gadsden High School. So I ran um, 25 acres as well as uh, 1,600 students and, and I had 250 staff members. So I was um, in charge of most of the committees. I drove curriculum and instruction and of course testing and all that. So it was, um, I had about uh, uh, three uh, assistant principals and it was, um, you know, it was quite an intense, um, you know, complex uh, organization. So very much blessed. I loved all the students there, had terrific uh, teachers. Um, so retired um, and currently teaching here in Southwest and I can't be happier. I love teaching, all right? I just couldn't stay away. Um, so, um, you know, it feeds my soul, right? Because I, I love my students and my students love me back. The other thing is that I'm also an entrepreneur. I have my LLC and it's Servine LLC. And when I retired from um, from being a educator or a high school principal or being in, in, in public schools, I um, became a real estate broker. And so um, so I have I do real estate, I do commercial real estate. I have secured, I don't know now, I, I think it's 35 million in contracts. I have been in business for about six years, going on my seventh. Uh, it has been a very lucrative um, um, business for me, and I just love it. I love exactly what I do. So please be patient. You know, I um, I work a lot, right? I'm a workaholic, and I'm proud of that. You know, there's a lot of instances where people say, oh, you're such a workaholic, and I had really big issues with that, but it is what it is, and it is who I am, right? And now that my students, uh, now that my children are older, they're adults, then I don't, you know, I just sort of, you know, have some time, you know, to myself and don't have so many responsibilities since they're not younger. I don't say free time because I don't have free time. So um, have done exceptionally well. So for business communication, um, last term, it was very interesting. Um, they had a lot of questions and I had a lot of entrepreneurs in my class. So they um, asked a lot of questions and we discussed a lot of things. Uh, most of my clients are from out of town. They're multimillionaires and I know quite a bit. Um, I also have uh, uh, one of my biggest portfolios, which I'm with biggest portfolio, which I'm closing out and um, and really, um, you know, finishing up with that contract is out of Chicago and they are probably a um, hundred million dollar um, corporation. So, um, so if you have any questions, right, on how, you know, millionaires are very different, they think very differently, they work all the time, they, um, you know, it's never a Saturday or Sunday for them. 
um, everybody's different and, and, and there's a lot of differences, right? And so there's a lot of everything within the people, but for the most part, there's specific skills that millionaires have that are specific to them only. And so we will be discussing that. It's very, very interesting. And, um, and I'm here to help you and I'm here to help you achieve the best, you know, and be the best that you can be and be able to, um, you know, really be empowered to live a very fulfilling life, no matter what that means and no matter what that is to you. And fulfilling does not mean, uh, you know, being rich and wealthy. Uh, it just means probably for, you know, for the most part being happy and healthy, right? At this point, I think that health has really, um, you know, really been a focus now and that's why you're here. You're, you are a service industry, just as I am with being an educator and you probably got into health because, um, you know, somebody was probably really sick uh, in your family and it inspired you to be who you're gonna become or be who you are or um, something happened to you, right? Or you were very touched by someone that was in the healthcare industry that really, um, you know, attracted you and and the lured you, um, you know, lured you into the field, just like me being a teacher. You know, you have to have it in your soul. You know, a lot of teachers that used to come in because they wanted the three months of uh, vacation wouldn't make it past six months because they just couldn't take it because it's part of your soul, right? So. Um, very excited also with, uh, you know, the first lady um, elect, um, you know, uh, Mrs. Uh, Dr. Biden, she's a PhD and she's an educator, so I can't be happier, you know, and I think that just like healthcare, I think that education has really um, been viewed in a different perspective and maybe has been acknowledged and been uh, given the credit. Uh, because it is so hard to teach, right? And so now that all everybody has to be teaching their kids just because of the situation, then I think that there's a new renowned, um, you know, respect uh, and admiration for both healthcare industry as well as educators. So very, very exciting time for us and a uh, very exciting time for you all, right? That you're in the healthcare. So um, remember um, that, you know, for my newbies that it takes you, it takes longer for you to um, have decided to come to school than it does to finish school and I promise you and for those of you who are already here maybe you can give some inspiration to my newbies uh, you know on how school goes by pretty quickly and um, you know it's about also um, respecting whatever it is that you believe in and not allowing anybody to you know bring you down I'm sure that when you told people you were gonna you were gonna come back to school I'm sure you had a very few that that supported you so honor those and respect them and truly cherish them and i'm sure you had a lot of them that said what are you gonna do with the kids and how are you gonna do it and you don't have any money and how are you you know it's you're too old or you took too long or you're not smart enough or whatever it is right so i highly um, commend you for coming back to school and finishing that up and um, you'll see that it will go quickly and smoothly and if you're here that means that means you're ready that means you're ready to finish it off so whatever experiences you had previously with school that maybe you didn't do uh, very well with school um, know that you will be able to get through them and let me tell you does it matter that you are brilliant and that you get straight A's what matters is the determination and the will and the uh, discipline that you have in order to achieve the specific goal which means you know finishing school and coming back to school so I commend you so um, looking forward to a very, very exciting um, term. Um, you know, it, I feel um, just with a lot of hope, you know, I think that we will be closing out hopefully 2020 soon. And after that, we'll be starting 2021 in a much healthier and much hopeful and united front because it is, it does not matter what our differences are. What only matters is that we come together as Americans and we come together as a community of, you know, one of the biggest, you know, powerful nations that we have been and really work to um, having whoever is in office be successful, right? Um, you know, and fighting for the diversity and for fighting for the rights that we, that our ancestors and that we are currently fighting for, you know, our military has currently put in so much into us um, having the free, you know, the free life that we have. And so, um, you know, really looking forward to a very promising future. All right. Namaste. Welcome. Love and light. Ciao.